All right, there's a quick streamer set right there. I hope that fixes the problem. Let's see, come on, waiting for it to go live, waiting for it to go live. Let's see if we end up having this issue again. Hopefully we do not. Let's do a quick reset and see what happens. Okay, it's showing me live. Hmm. I'm not getting the feedback now. Hopefully it stays that way. Let's do a quick reboot here. Oh wow, it's also showing me as being completely offline. I hope I'm streaming. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I'm apparently streaming now. Hopefully it stays that way. I hope, I hope, I hope, hope, hope. Hopity, hope, hope. Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, I decided to skip uh, the expansion for Armored Core 2 because it's just a bunch of shitty missions. Uh, not, in, not even like a followable story, unfortunately. <clears throat> not in the first half, anyways. Hopefully, um, the expansion for Armored Core 3 doesn't have that issue. Oh, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing pretty good. A big, long-ass semester is about to be finished. I've done two of my three finals, and I have one more final tomorrow, which once I'm done with the stream, I will be studying my ass off for. Um, it's, gone, it's gone well so far uh, for me. So uh, I may be having more time to uh, stream here in the future, which would be nice. That would mean more, uh, probably more Armored Core, to be honest, because I've been having fun streaming it. Between actually playing the games and getting that little rush of nostalgia, and like meeting and talking to people through the streams that were, or that are like still genuinely passionate in it, is this shit? Uh-oh. Oh god. Oh god. Well, I'm glad I frickin' caught that now. Oh, that is bad. Oh, I really should have checked that. Holy shit. Oh my god, that could be really fucking bad. Oh shit. Well, hopefully I fix that. So this is Armored Core 3. Let's go to Twitter and repost everything. I gotta repost all my stuff. Wow, 
What the fuck? Why did I suddenly get a fucking... Hmm, that's annoying. There we go. It looks like I fixed it. Sorry, you guys. I will actually be streaming the game... shortly here. <clears throat> well, I'll actually be starting the game, I should say. Alright. That's set up. The link works. Alright. Now I'm finally freaking ready to play this game. I'm excited to play this game. Big excite. Everybody I've talked to says this is a good one. So let's go with a new game here. Audio, sound effects, normal, no vibration. Let's see, what should we name the pilot? We started with Ted Danson and ended up being called Dio last time. Huh. Should we go with another stupid name? Or should we... Should we go with another stupid name or should we stick to the JoJo thing? Um... Oh, I fucked that up. I genuinely don't know. Let's name ourselves... Tony, did you follow the link? I hope you did. I hope you followed the second link I posted and not the first link I posted. Because the first link I posted to Facebook was to porn. <laughs> uh, fuck it. Let's go with Dio again. We will rebuild Zawarudo. Zawarudo! One entity ruled the world. It was simply called the Controller. This the story is stupid, the major decisions of but it's fun. Life. People took it for granted <laughs> the controller would handle every aspect of their lives for them. Under the rule of the controller, people <clears throat> lived safe yet uninspired lives of a promised prosperity. As time went on, several powerful factors known as corporations came on the scene. It's always about the In corporations. Struggles to gain absolute Big dumb power, Japanese corporations. corporations waged war upon each other. The controller even manipulated the corporation's war. There it is. Always going according to the plans of the controller. But somehow, the forces of chaos began to rise. The forces of chaos! I like chaos. I like... I like the Chow and Sonic Adventure 2 battle. Oh, man! I had to play that Nearly stupid there. game. I'll go over the mission one more time. So this game... To me, is basically your objective is to eliminate all forces. A better graphical city. quality, better, just overall better quality remix of Armored Core 2. The targets are battle MTs. The music might even be better. Complete the mission, and you'll be registered as a Raven. Let's do it. Let's complete the mission. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Don't blow it. The ACs in this one, I think, look better than the ones in two. Although I like all, uh, certain designs in 2 a lot. So, unlike the beginning of... Whoop, so fast. Unlike the beginning of um, Armored Core 2, um, I'm not going to spend the first hour and a half of the... Uh, come on, come on. Uh, of the stream cheating. Uh, because that 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 stuff doesn't exist in this in this. You may have noticed, but it's already faster. There we go. Transport plane detected. They're sending it back. Uh oh. 
back up to fight. Shit, how are they able to hit me? How are they? Uh, X is here. Did you catch me accidentally putting up a link to porn on Facebook? Because I accidentally put up a link to porn on Facebook. It was hilarious. These things are... Uh... Yeah, that's a good shot. Shooting it over the building. Ah, uh, he's distracted by me. Oh, not anymore. Oh, God. Last one. Apple Boy. Crap. Who the fuck is Apple Boy? Oh, Apple Boy must be the other guy I'm fighting with. The name Apple Boy is stupid, and I hate it, and I hate you, Apple Boy. All Bad. Units destroyed. Bleh. You did well. So this compared to compared to the previous game is already like much more. It feels a lot smoother. It's, yeah, it's good. I'm excited to I'm excited to get into this one. Um, it, it isn't as easy to just blow open the. Uh, it isn't as easy to blow open the arena as it was in the other one. And yeah, you don't get the um, the cheats for failing a bunch of times, so yeah. All right. We have a message from the controller. This message is to notify citizen me of their authentication as a raven, which includes the right to operate ACs in support of activities registered through Global Cortex. Keep in mind that your actions while holding this position must at all times adhere to the laws set in place for maintaining order throughout Layered. Reports of any questionable activities will result in your immediate dismissal and the revoking of all rights and privileges associated burp, with being a raven. Good luck in your endeavors. How's the stream look, X? Um, I found out stupidly after streaming all of Armored Core 2 that I was streaming it at a max resolution of like 360p. And I feel stupid. So I've jacked it up to 720 for this, and I'm hoping there isn't too much, uh, you know. I'm hoping it looks better in general, and I'm more I'm more referring to like like are there is there in, is there a lot of buffering or anything like that, or does it just look good? Here, I'll read this while you send your response, sir. Lane Myers, good day, Raven. Let me take a moment to introduce myself. My name is Lane Myers, and I'll be acting as your Global Tor Cortex Liaison Representative. As I am sure you are aware, Global Tor Cortex is in the business of dispute resolution. The firm makes its money at by hiring out Ravens, such as yourself, to clients in need of our special brand of mediation. In our role as intermediary, we arrange mission assignments, offer a selection of mission escort units, and provide you access to AC repair and shop facilities. You'll have our full backing. All we ask is that you perform your best. The mission assignments you choose to accept and how they are carried out is up to you. Global Cortex will not interfere with regard to these decisions. Please note, though, that if trouble should occur during a mission, Global Cortex will not interfere on your behalf. Again, let me welcome you aboard. I look forward to working with you. <clears throat> cool! Okay. Uh, so we've got an arena menu, we've got a mission menu, we've got a mail, we've got the garage, and we've got the system menu. Um, we have our basic AC so far. I'm going to show you guys something. Uh, they changed around the way the, uh, the arena is. Instead of just ranks 1 through 50 or whatever the fuck it was, um, there's different grades of... of of dude bros uh, from A to E and an E10 is Dio <clears throat> so here's the important thing we gotta note right away and I'll show you by beating this alright uh, 
Adieu. He has little experience, and it is painfully evident in every respect. His AC is poorly equipped and would stand almost no chance at the arena's higher levels. He's garnered a small band, band face. Fuck me. Fan base giving his willingness to try, but harsh lessons await. All right. I fucked around with this. Um, trying to figure out basically a way to cheat before actually doing the stream, but no such level exists as the level in the first damn game. It's way out there. This level is fucking cool. Um, I think it looks awesome. Oh, I missed him. Where you at, boy? Come on. I wanna get up in there and tap that. I wanna tap that ass, not you, me tap ass. You know tap my ass. You know fuck on me, white boy. And there goes all my ammunition. So notice that his shots are hitting my missiles. Um, which nerfs missiles quite a bit in this game. We're also pretty even so far. I mean, granted, we're, we pretty much have the exact same mech. Though I just pulled ahead in that little uh, encounter there, for sure. Uh, the enemy's AC is still below mine. Where'd you go, boy? There's a good hit, yeah! I gotta back myself out of this corner. Doing too much damage here. Then again, I've got the basic mech. It's not as... Like, until I find some way to, like, spam or, like, cheese out the, the enemy, we have to actually fight them. So I guess this will be more exciting than the Armored Core 2 uh, streams that I just did. I feel like such a fucking idiot about that whole resolution thing, though. Oh my god, that looked really bad. All right, let's see. So this is interesting. They have a this really cool like camera switching mechanic where it'll switch between the two things. Yeah, we do have the exact same uh, the exact same armored core here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna subject you guys to the replay here. That was okay, but with this level, it's not the best thing to look at. Uh, no, I don't want to view the replay. That's the other interesting thing about this is is it gives you the option to skip the replay. Uh, the other game didn't let you do that. It just right it went right into the replay. Okay, so here's the thing I wanted to show y'all. 1,500 credits for beating the first guy, and it doesn't go up much from there. You would have to f you would have to basically work your way through all of E rank to be able to afford anything in this game, which is entirely different from the last game where you would get like four or five. Um, arena fights in, and you'd be able to start customizing your AC. Uh, what do we got? Global Cortex Reward. Congratulations on your first victory. We hope you will continue to advance through the ranks. Each time you hit a certain rank, we will present you with an AC part reward. The reward this time is a back part. Model number CW blah blah blah. Cool. So because I won my first thing, they gave me a new, a new uh, piece. So um, in in each armored core game that I've played, you have you can make you can build three mechs, right? Um, and in this one, they show it to you, so you can just really easily switch between them instead of having to go through a menu. All right, but I got a back part here. Let's take a look and see what we got. It is a 
much better small missile than what we had previously. So it's nice that they give you a uh, they give you a little boost for doing that right away. Uh, let's save really quick here, and then after we save, <laughs> that's right. I named my other character Arby's. <laughs> we have the meats. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> All right, let's do a couple missions here because, I'm, like, right in the beginning, missions are, are the are the the uh, path to customization. So this is interesting. They give you kind of a. You think I should build a Wendy's mech and make make my AC look like Wendy's with like the color scheme and everything? That might be stupidly funny to do. Mecha Wendy's kill. <laughs> Okay, so here's the mission menu. More this this is showing us an area. Um, even though it doesn't quite look like an area, it just looks like some weird tech shit. Um, and more areas open up as you progress through the level or through the through the story and through all the missions. Um, and then, interestingly enough, it shows you the three different. Um, it shows you the three different. Uh, corporations that are fighting for control over the area and you can based on that little graph down at the bottom there um, choose whether to help or not help certain corporations to keep the fight going basically all right so we've got global cortex and crest global cortex is defend the area um, and crest crest is just behind mirage in terms of control so i'm going to do defend the area to begin with Information has come to light regarding a possible terrorist attack. Okay, we will do the Wendy's mech. The instigators have yet to be revealed. We will build Wendy. No mistaking their intentions. Build her with a big robot vagina and a fat ass. As far as we know, they plan to disable one of our arena facilities and force the cancellation of an upcoming match. Don't ever forget, Yoko Littner is 14. Which is legal in Florida? One of these states is 14. It's either Hawaii or Florida. It might actually be Hawaii and not Florida. Florida might be 16. I think Hawaii is 14. Hostilities against Global Cortex are due to our stance on this matter. Your reward will be determined by the number of enemy units destroyed. Yeah, I get paid for how much stuff I blow up. Yeah, Brick Squad. I don't, I don't know what this that I'm doing right here with my body has to do with Brick Squad. System engaged. I shoot at your face. Um, so since the, uh, oh shit. Where's I going with that? Since the, um, uh, since you can intercept missiles now with your uh, uh, with your bullets, it really it really emphasizes um, builds that have a high rate of fire. Um, so uh, my machine gun build that I used in the previous game is actually uh, really good in this game versus missile enemies because basically as long as you keep the rate of fire up, you can kind of. Uh, Maneuver yourself to intercept missiles with the with the the, the fire uh, from your machine guns, which I think is cool. Um, I actually found it really surprising when I found that out. But then I was like messing around with it. I'm like, oh shit! If you get like a big ass machine gun going, you're pretty much unmissileable. Um, I don't know if the same applies for rockets. So like, I'll try and do it here. Ah, shit. Basically, if you jump at the right time with a machine gun, you can uh, just basically drag the missiles into your line of fire. There we go. I'm gonna have to switch to missiles here in a moment. Probably only need one missile for those. Looks like you could use a hand. Oh look, there's a guy. Ace 
There's a hit. I'm not doing too well compared to the first time I did this. I should have used my... I should have been using my missiles on these bigger guys and uh, my rifle on the smaller guys. I gotta stand still and let my uh, heat recharge here. Because I'm pretty sure if this guy destroys the stuff, I don't get uh, much in the way of uh, uh, bash. Like, I'm pretty sure this guy can actually steal my money, basically, by getting the kills instead of me. Son of a bitch, you coming in here into this dome, taking my jobs. Right, that's my kill. Got a big guy over here. Yes, we do. Three should do it. Yep, okay, that's my kill. Tony, you actually missed out on a really cool couple of streams just because I had a bunch of uh, um, uh, uh, Armored Core diehards in here and they were like spitting hard lore and it was just a lot of fun in general. Very impressive. Missed having you hanging out. We'll Where are you? I want to stand on your face. Come here, let- Oh, there we go. That's the end. It's over. The music is already a marked improvement from 2. 2 had some memorable tracks, but only memorable, memorable because I played the ever-living shit out of it. Went through a lot of ammo there. If I'm going to be doing a lot of missions, it's probably going to be in my best interest to switch out to an energy weapon and a really, really good generator. Alright, let's read the mail. From Gaidos. You're quite a pilot, Raven. I like your style. You have great holes. Look at that sick fucking emblem, dude. That looks fucking cool. We make a good team, and hopefully we'll have a chance to work together again. Good message. Thanks, buddy. All right. Let's run through another mission here. So see, we've opened up another, another area. A different layer. A different... Um, layer of what I'm assuming is an underground city. But we'll stay in District 1 for a bit here. End employee standoff by killing the employees, probably. Right? The crest. A group of employees unhappy about our decision to shut down the Zidane weapons factory have taken over control. She sounds like she was recorded from like 40 feet away. They've modified the factory's MTs for combat and are using Get them to, to fuck up construction equipment, bro. Move them from the premises immediately. Closing the factory was a difficult decision, but had to be done in order to accommodate the need for more housing. Every day we are delayed is costing huge sums of money. Oh god. We're sending you in to end the standoff and get the project back on track. Eliminate Oh, the happy birthday the by the way, X. I know I've said it several times already, but you know. All right, so uh, this is an interesting thing done make happen uh, in this game. And dad, what dad is, dad. No, I'm just, I'm just being a bitch with my speech anyways. Um, no, so what you can do is there's that rest of funds counter there, uh, which is 6,000 credits. And you can use that to hire an MT to come along and help you um, complete the mission. Um, and they'll basically go in there and blow shit up and beat cannon fodder and all that shit. Um, but you have to hire them. You have to spend money to hire them. Um, so like I'm about to do here, you can go into the mission without hiring these people. Um, I'm probably going to do that for like the first half of the game. Oh wow, they hit me. There we go, that one's down. Get that one, good, good, good. 
See, this is easy. Why would I hire a guy when I can just take that extra money? Because I can literally take that extra money. Shit, shit, shit. There we go. Just kind of hide around the corners here and use the... Oops. These guys are actually kind of a giant pain in the ass because I'm trying to do this without getting hit just to save myself money. Okay, that one's down. And there was only seven of them in this mission. So yeah, like for this one, absolutely no reason to actually hire anybody. We gotta let our shit cool down. Hey Luna, how's it going? That's all of and this is like mission two, so just getting in and out of the corners is, or getting in and out of uh, walls is not really that much of an issue right now. And there's no difficulty curve yet. Um, I'm sure it'll hit me eventually, but right now. It's fine. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that uh, that difficulty curve slapping me in the mouth. All right, got some stuff. Okay. Crest, good work, Raven. We appreciate your help. If a few factory jobs have to be sacrificed for the greater good of society, then so be it. It's a harsh reality, but the decision to redevelop Sector 303 was made by the controller, and we aren't about to stand in the way of the AI telling us how to live our lives. It's like Wally. -E. Wally -E is happening. We sincerely hope that you'll continue to assist us so that order can be maintained. And then info on layer. Since its inception, Layered had been governed, has been governed by the controller, a complex and extremely powerful AI computer system. Needless to say, the importance of the controller's existence is hard to deny all aspects of life for those living in Layered are managed and maintained by the controller. However, there seems to be some discontent among Layered's population and the number of uprisings has increased in recent years. Perhaps the very system that is Layered is coming apart. Those who died today did so because they resisted the controller, but I still can't help feeling sorry for them. Eh, who cares? It's fine, Every everybody's gonna die. Eh, I'm not gonna fight in the arena yet. I'm not gonna fight in the arena until I can get, until I can like switch out for like a machine gun or something to be honest. All right, we got another mission here we gotta do. Secure the mine. What do we got? We'd like you to execute an attack on the Grand Mining Facility. Kisaragi has played a leading role in the mine's operation and just recently uncovered a rich vein of rare metal ore. Rare metal ore. Needless to say, the ore has considerable value and we're unwilling to allow Kisaragi to corner the market. After consultation with other corporations, it was decided that the mine's resources are to be equally distributed and that we, Mirage, will take over its day-to-day -day operation. However, Although hmm. Kisaragi agreed to this, they continue to mine the ore and are in clear violation. We want to avoid damage to the mine and its assets. But you guys are violating the trade agreement, so we're going to hire you to fucking destroy all people. All right, so here we are with the consorts again. It's the same guys again, and I'm still not going to hire any of them. <sighs> here we go. Operation code has calmed down. It's kind of funny to me for some reason. Oh. I'm trying not to waste a ton of ammo here. Go. The good news is I can arc missiles over the stuff here. Definitely helps with the whole not destroying a bunch of stuff here. This stuff. Alright, what do we got going on next here? Should let our heat get out of the red zone here. Okay, 
takes three shots to kill the little ones. So if we have to deal with them, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now I shot four for some reason. I can do avoid their stuff. Come on. There we go. I really don't want to... I like that there's a lot more... Um, there's a lot more, like, special conditions in the mission because it makes the missions that you do more interesting. But, um... It kind of sucks that uh, most of them are based on... Like, most of them are based on, like, if you mess something up, we're going to take money from you. We did it. We the best. You and I. And the Armored Core 3. It's fun. It's the first missions are fun. <clears throat> yeah. No special deductions. I like it. All right, I think we actually have enough to purchase something now. Let's see what we want to purchase here. Okay, new mail, let's read the mail and then check out purchases. All right, from Mirage. Nice job for a newcomer. <laughs> Thanks. We hope we can count on your continued support. Crest's notion that they are the controller's selected representatives is becoming intolerable. Layered has matured and it's time to forge ahead to the next level. Namely, there will be a ship mission that doing multiple times is the smart choice. So you can explore and have a good path. Oh, so like fail it the first couple times to just check it out, reload the save, and then do it the right way? Okay. I'm cool with that. We here at Mirage are prepared to make that happen, Raven. It's time to make a decision. Prepared to make that happen. Raven, it's time to make a decision. We're confident you'll make the right one. Okay. My decision is... is like, pay me. <laughs> uh, garage, that's where I can access the shop. Alright. So I am interested in starting out with a machine gun again. I've got 38. And so far, I can't afford any of this shit. I can afford that right off the bat. That used to be... That was the machine gun that I ran in the, in the other game. Um, but it's been toned way down in terms of damage, so I don't, I don't think I want to go with that one. I think probably, probably that one's going to be the best bet because it's got medium damage, but look at, look at the amount of ammo it has. It's got a ton of ammo. The problem is it costs a shit ton of money as well. Um... Actually, this thing is just trash in general compared to, like, look at that. Like, this one weighs almost 100 more. But it does, like, almost, it does 55 more damage per shot, and it has 150 more ammo. The range is a tidbit worse, but you know what? I will start with this. This is, this is how we're starting here. Energy drain is better, the weight is down, but I have... Oh, the legs weight is actually approaching bad. All right. Hey, X, when your ass gets back from whatever you were doing, hit me up. Um, and, and we'll turn our robot into Wendy from Wendy's. Oh, 
I promised a buddy since it's his birthday that we're gonna make Wendy, you know, from the Wendy's commercials, out out of an AC. Oh, you're here? You want me to go do some arena shit? Or should I make Wendy now? I can do an arena fight. Or I can be an asshole and change my color scheme to Wendy. Arena now? Very well. Wendy later. Okay. Alright, wake up. An arena pilot of great skill once. He's had nothing but losses ever since a certain traumatic event. He claims to have put it behind him, but there is no doubt that he still struggles with the after effects. Most wonder if he can bounce back. So he's like a prize fighter. He got all fucked up. Let's check out structure. My AC doesn't even have a name yet. Oh well. Fuck it! Lots of shit to hide behind in these levels. Oh, listen to that fucking machine gun! Yeah! Yeah! Fucking listen to that shit! God, that thing fucking ruined it! Look at that! Holy shit! You gotta... Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's so fucking stupid! Wow! Wow! I wanna watch the replay of that! That was fun! <laughs> Holy shit! He got fucking ripped in half! Jesus, listen to that thing! That's so fucking crazy loud! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Shit! God, is anyone else as hard as I am right now from that? Ugh! <laughs> oh man, that was cool. I like that. That was literally the loudest thing in the fucking game, too. <laughs> that was awesome! Fuck, oh shit, he's got the machine gun I wanted. Okay. Uh, Strasbourg. A true hothead. All he can think about once an opponent is in his sights is to engage. He sometimes gets so caught up in the action he will actually stop in place and fire blind. Uh, works for me. He has no respect for those afraid to take a little beating. The 1K machine gun is worse for the arena. Yeah, I kind of figured that was the case based on, uh... Let's go Reservoir. Yeah, I've never been a big fan of the big machine guns, but just the fact that the one with a thousand rounds has, a, has like, the middle-of-the-road damage for machine guns is crazy to me. Come on, buddy. You can come fuck me up. Look at this big, sick open area. This is awesome. You gonna fuck? Oh shit! You gonna die, boy? And he's uh, this strafing ability is actually kind of fucking me up. But I think the next thing that's going to be worth a purchase is going to be a radiator because this, uh, or not a radiator, a generator, because this energy drain on the booster is fucking stupid. AI test gives it a reward. When you say I, AI test gives a reward, oh, like it gives you money. Interesting. I, uh, I might actually check that out. Two rewards. Interesting. I'll go check that out. Definitely. Test out my machine gun. Although I'm having fun in the arena once again, so let's keep doing this. That thing looks pretty damn cool. 
Twin Head W's older sister, she usually fights alongside her brother in the role of main attack element, and in doing so diverts attention away from his presence. Their difference in rank has ruffled her feathers a bit. Look at that fucking dinosaur! Look at that! Looks cool. Oh cool, there's a straight up arena, I forgot. It's been so long since I played this game, I'm having a blast going back through all of them. Is the stream still good, by the way? Not having any buffering issues for anybody? Yeah, that stock generator is horseshit. Oh, look at her just standing there. She can't take it. She can't take my load in her face. Oh, did I get her? No, I didn't get her. I like just barely missed her. Come here, come here. And you're done. Sweet. I'm asking because I'm actually streaming this in uh, 720p. Um, and I have a painfully slow up speed on my shitty internet, so I'm just worried that I'm, like, presenting a shitty product. A shitty viewing experience for my viewers. All right, snake wood. I got some snake wood for you. <laughs> he avoids being pulled into the more risky close-range battles and, for the most part, only engages when a comfortable buffer exists between him and his opponent. Since his AC lacks offensive strength, his fights can be long, drawn-out affairs. Yeah, I have a feeling... Thank you for, for offering tips. Um, but I have a feeling for, uh, for this stream, I'll probably be okay. That's a cool-looking AC he's got. The squat little head and the big, long legs. Looks like Dr. Robotnik. Yeah, that's, that's where I went with that. Oh, hey, this is the factory I killed all those factory workers in. Where were you even looking, bro? Yeah, you backed yourself into that corner. That's fine. You're really pushing in on me here. Man. Once you get this fucking generator in the red zone, you cannot get it out of the red zone. This guy's circle straving me to death. I hope nobody gets nauseous from spinning here. Because oh boy is this asshole fighting annoyingly. Oh, did I run through my fucking shit? Yeah, I did. Come here, you son of a bitch. You're almost dead. You're making this a poor fight by just flying around in fucking circles, asshole. You fucking asshole. Here, you want to keep going in circles that way? Oh, now you've turned around and have started? Shit, dick, asshole. Come here. Come here, I'm going to fucking murder you. You suck and I hate you. Do you get a faster turn speed when you do boost jumps, dude? Ah. This is going well so far. Who knows? I might work my way out of D before or out of E before I do anything else. A former street racer, he savors the rush experienced when he turns on his AC's overboost function. Rarely stationary at any point during combat, he constantly jets to and fro around the arena. He is quick to abandon battle when he feels outmatched, so basically he's going to be running away the entire time at full speed. Oh, he's got a, a howitzer in his offhand. That's cool. Turn speed remains the same. Big deal is keeping your movement high and not stopping. Yeah, I agree. That's one of the reasons I, I, I really remember two a lot is because when you did the the pilot regen stuff enough time, you basically had functionally infinite energy. All right. I'm going to challenge you, boy. Oop, I hit. No. Yes. Okay, there we go. 
All right. Have we done underground factory yet? No, but I don't care. I'm going to the ruin. Ruin's a fun little place to fight. <laughs> I think after this one, I'll look into some more parts. And then from there, I'll make me some Wendy's. Rifle is actually causing some hit stun. Like, good job for him. Shit. That guy hit me hard with whatever he just. God damn it. You're a fast little bitch. I give you that. But I have yet to meet men who can outrun bullets. actually causing me a fair amount of damage with that rifle. That's, uh... I mean, granted, I've got a bare-bones ass AC. The problem is he's overheating me with that thing, too. So between the hit stun and the overheat, it's possible that fight could have gone bad. Yeah, my everything is shit. I've, the only thing I have is is the missile launcher you get for beating the first mission and the uh, uh, <laughs> the machine gun I bought. No, I didn't. Ah, crap. I didn't want to view the replay. The way they word that is strange. I am totally stock. I can't help it. I'm poor. I wish I could get some Armored Corps government assistance. Help pay for Armored Core College. No, I don't want to view the replay. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go! I really liked how... Uh, I really liked how the... Uh, the reverse joint legs did for the, the Armored Core 2 LP. But I might try, like, spider legs or something like that at this point. Look at that thing. The maximum weight is kind of negligible on the lighter weight stuff because it's not that much lower than the stock thing I have equipped. All right. Let's take a look at my legs. The parts look cooler in this game, like objectively cooler, I think. You know, it would probably help if I knew what my fucking stats were as it is. My legs weigh point forty nine. Okay. Let's look at the legs. 49 with a movement speed of 280. So we want to be able to beat that. I don't even know if I can afford anything that can beat that yet. Probably not. Not with 2,400 credits. In terms of the middle ones for the bipedal legs, they're all about the same. Like that, just from looking, that one looks like it's the best, and it looks nice. Yeah, that one's got some good stats to it. Let's take a look at the reverse joint. There's the big heavy legs. Those things look fucking awesome. All right, so here's the reverse joints. The moving, the moving ability is better across the bat already. There's a good middle weight one. That one's got shitty movement. Okay, those have shitty movement. All right. Here are the spider legs. That looks pretty good. 51, 425, 50, and 437. Kind of like those. I'm not really interested in the hover parts, though they probably would go really well with my. Look at that! It looks like a big shark mouth coming to eat ya! Om nom nom! <laughs> I apologize that I'm a fucking idiot. Let's see. I don't think I can do much right now. Alright. I 
Yeah, these things look better overall. All right, General. Let's let's bring up a picture of Wendy from Wendy's. Wendy's Wendy. Images. Oh god, they keep showing me the actual Wendy. X, what's the damn... X, what's the damn... What do they call it? They call it like... Like... Something Wendy? What's the meme? I forget what the meme... Holy shit! That Wendy is hot. Okay, it looks like she's white with light blue for, like, the dress. So the the core and legs, we can do white with light blue. The arms are red and white. And then she's got the red hair with the blue bows. All right, let's make fucking Wendy's. Smug Wendy. God damn it. <laughs> I feel like I should have known that as an internet person. All right. So we want to go white. Oops. With a light blue. <laughs> Anime is never a mistake. Let's see. Can I get a little more blue here? No, we want to go with a lighter blue like so. Try to get a little bit of the red out there. Okay, that's the closest to that that we can do. What are these optional colors? All right, there's red. I wonder if we can fully white that out. That's a little whiter than the body that I had there. Wait, because I never... God damn it, because I never confirmed it. <laughs> there we go. There's a good white and blue. <laughs> I'm not a weeb lord! I don't even know Japanese! Sumimasen! <laughs> Alright, let's see. There's the detail. Alright. Huh. And the joint color. Make it like a creepy flesh color. Duh. I don't know how to make a creepy flesh color. Actually, that isn't too bad for creepy flesh color. All right, we got to change this head around. Base color, get that Wendy's ass red in there. I can't fucking believe I'm doing this. All right, there's the red. Apparently she has a red goatee with this AC head. All right, there's Smug Wendy. So we've got the sexy, fair, white people, underage skin. Um, shut up. Mostly white it out, but have a bit of a red tint to it. And then she's got brown eyes. Haha, <laughs> brown eye. I'm a terrible human being. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god, my AC totally looks like a shitty clown. But isn't Wendy's just a shitty clown? that joint color. That's the neck. Is she wearing anything? She's got like a kind of blue necklace thing going on, so we can uh, kind of blue it out a little bit. Oh shit, the whole face is the joint color. That's what we've got to make fleshy. Okay. Okay. 
Fuck it. Okay, I'm fine with that. Oh, I have to change the arms separate? Shit. All right, it's white and red for the arms. All right, there's the red. Original color is white. I can't believe I'm fucking building Wendy's robot. <laughs> shit, shit, piss, piss. Ah, oh, I was hitting the wrong buttons. <laughs> All right, goddammit. Does not match the same color on the other side, but who cares? Shit, no, I don't want to do that. Because I fucked up. Because I wanted to make that one the super red. There we go. Turn that up. Turn the shit down. Wendy's robot is going to get dropped. Not in the arena. <laughs> All right, and the legs. I think we're good on the legs. Okay, there's our fucking Wendy's robot. Alternately, the fucking America robot. Look at that American ass America robot. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, that's the stupidest thing I've ever done. X, are you fucking happy with yourself? Let's steal an emblem here. What's a good Wendy's emblem? The one with the egg. No. <laughs> totally built an America bot. Is that fucking Shingeki no Kyojin right there? I know it's not quite, but shut up. You don't want you no damn Wendy's son. <laughs> it looks so fucking stupid. All right, let's fix up my fucking cockpit here. Uh, we want heat, energy, and weapon data. We want the remnants. Yeah, outer heat's fine, and a speedometer. I don't like the altimeter because it's a little bit too busy. <laughs> All right. Should I go with blue or cyan or green? Kind of feeling cyan. How, what y'all feeling? Do y'all like the taste of blue? The taste of kia, or the taste of green. Going with kia. All right, we've done that. All right, we got to change some things around here. Let's fully embrace the meme, you guys. All right. I've updated the name of the pilot to Smug Wendy. All right. <laughs> I agree. Attack on Titan is ass. Actually, I've heard the new season's kind of cool. Um, um, I got to do it. I got to do it. I got to name it the Baconator. <laughs> Riding around in the fucking Baconator. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Eat my Baconator, I'm Wendy! Oh god, that's a euphemism. I've created a horrible euphemism. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Okay, let's do the AC test. I want to see what the rewards are. Probably, if I remember correctly, the reward for the AC test in Armor Core 2 was a, a slightly better... Uh, word I can't think of. It was a slightly better radar, wasn't it? This is going good. Oh shit, over here! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Jesus! Shit, fucking up! Shit's getting hardcore, you guys! Oh, we don't have any more over there. Gotta go 
that one. Okay, gotta watch the radar for this. Yeah, it'll be really nice to switch out the legs for um, either a reverse joint or spider legs. I know it's quadruped legs, I think it's called, but I like spider. Okay, okay this is going okay, right? Like, I don't know exactly what the objective of this is supposed to be. Whether I'm supposed to hit, like, a threshold or get them all or just run out the time. I don't know. You don't recommend quadrupeds. Why not, Princess Celestia? Oh, no kidding. It's the, the energy drain? Mm. I'll have to look into that. I don't know. I feel like I went reverse joint the entire last LP. I might, like I might want to change it up, but we'll see. All right, time average, two minutes, 33 targets destroyed, 80% accuracy. That's probably not great, but I got an A rank. Are they going to give me something for it? Let's see. I have new mail. I think they gave me something for it. Global Cortex, congratulations. Your test results are the best we've ever seen. I'm the best around. We've prepared a reward. It's an AC leg part. Ooh. Ooh, that's a big reward. Hold on, Johnson. Actually, let's take a look. Is that? Oh, it's a heavy leg part. Uh, the weight's way up, so I don't really need that right now. They just give you some fucking heavy leg armor that looks like some Gundam shit, honestly. That's pretty fucking cool, actually. Alright, let's, uh... Not system, I want garage again. Let's do the second AC test. I wonder if it's like stuff firing back at you. I can't believe they just give you new legs. Turn it Dan ain't got no legs. You dead yet? No? Okay, there we go. Stop trying to touch my goodies! I'll fuck you. Shit. Of course I fucking ran out my damn it. Was that Was that it? Was that it? Was that fucking it? Oh shit! I got a D. I got a D. Why did I get a D? Eh, who fucking knows? Probably because I sucked it hard. <laughs> I bet you there. I bet you like you do that AC test. You can beat that in like seconds. Yeah, no reward for that. Fuck it. Let's go back to the arena with our Baconator. Gaidaz. Is that like Zardoz? Oh, hey, it's that guy we were in that mission with. I'm going to fuck him in the ass. I mean, I'm going to have a good fight with this guy. <laughs> I'm not Trap Wendy. I'm Mecha Wendy. <laughs> it's not strange that I have a robot penis and a robot vagina. He relies heavily on his AC weapons arms to carry him to victory. A bit over the top, he is flashy and popular. Many feel that his limited repertoire is best suited for combat with members of the arena's lower echelon and wouldn't cut it higher up. What's your specs, bro? Not that good. Let's let's have good battle. Go to the underground factory. Oh yeah, I guess it does have a dick chest. Don't worry, that'll that'll get undicked soon. I should probably go. Well, hey, perfect timing. There's our friend. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna have you in the A. Yeah, you just stay in there. Oh wow, this is uh, this is stupid. Look at him. Take my trap cum all over your chest. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bacon tick. 
Jesus Christ, I wish I could throw- I wish I had a thing that would let me throw the chat up up, up in the fucking... Oh. Oh, that's funny. Actually, you know what? I'm going to throw the chat into the end of the stream here. So let me adjust this. And let's see. Let's add a screen capture. And I'm going to grab the actual part of the screen that I am monitoring for the chat. I'm going to see if I can't jam that into the stream here. Windows region. Okay. Is that, um... Oh no! Princess Celestia and Luna is buffering. Can y'all see... Can y'all see the chat up in the stream now? It's not showing me a preview of it. Um... Hopefully you guys can see that. If not, I will take it off and try it when I'm not in the middle of a stream. No chat, just a big black box in the corner. Oh, uh, damn! I'm gonna have to get I'm gonna have to get a thing that like imports the chat into the thing. Damn it! Okay. Well, we tried. I may try that for future streams. It might just be that it. it it just can't do it as is. Who knows? All right, let's continue on here with the arena. I'm enjoying getting all the shit. And yes, you're right. I should sell those other legs and buy the shit I want, but not right now. No, seriously, not right now. I'm I'm just, I'm fine with what I got for for now anyways in E rank. All right. Uh, Vice, while he has no defining traits in either his AC setup or combat style, he pilots a well-rounded unit and adapts easily to various battlefield conditions. His fights are usually uneventful, but every once in a while he puts on a good show. Wow. You have been determined to be uneventful. Let's do the wasteland. This looks cool. <laughs> With my trap Wendy bot. It's showing that I got a new viewer coming in and out. Hey, new person. Thanks for coming to my shitty stream. Shit, this level is something. Oh, I can see him through the through the 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 poo fog. Oh, I want to get as far away from that machine or that uh, shotgun as possible. Actually, he's not doing too much damage to me with it. Just kind of moving back and forth and taking it in the face from Trap Wendy. There we go. Like my arms can't keep up with this guy's movement either. Come on, there we go. The good news is this thing has enough ammo. I don't really need much else to get through these these lower level fights. Uh. Eh, no, no replay needed. Just blow through all this shit. Let's blow! We gotta blow! <laughs> you know, X, if you wanted to be awesome, you could set it up to auto-host me. That way it would always be hosting on your channel whenever I was, you know, doing the thing. Alright. Twinhead W, the older, the younger brother of that, that chick we stomped. A uh, younger brother of Twinhead B, he is most often accompanied by his sister when participating in missions. His role in this deadly duo is as a closer, stepping in at the last possible moment to finish the job. He enjoys combat and shows a lot of potential. That's like a, a, a energy pistol fire thing that he's got in his right hand, isn't it? That and the actually probably pretty good uh, missile setup there. Why you gotta bring up incest? This isn't Sword Art Online. 
You son of a bitch. Fucking bringing incest into, into this, this shit. Let's see. We've done Reservoir. We've done Wasteland. Let's go to Parking Lot. Uh, bye, Princess Celestia and Luna. The archive of this will be up on the YouTube. Uh, so, you know, you can watch the stuff you missed later if you want. Yeah, you just get yourself caught up on these... Uh, it's a hell of a parking structure. Like, I wonder what you're parking in here. You know what playing all this old mecha shit really makes me want to do? It really makes me want to hunker down and uh, continue on that uh, Xenogears LP I started a while back and haven't touched it forever. I think I have a fourth episode recorded somewhere that I just haven't... Is it dead already? No, it... He got out of there. got way the fuck out of there. I think I have a fourth episode recorded somewhere that I haven't released yet. Um, but if not, I still need to record and release more of that. I also need to start releasing that fucking uh, Resident Evil 6 LP, cause, or 5 LP, because I think it stopped uploading at like episode 6, and I gotta do the... Oh, you don't know about... Okay, okay, so... Sword Art Online, it's just a shitty harem anime, right? It's a shitty harem anime that sells the first, like, season or two as not a shitty harem anime, but it is. And the second, like, bitch he gets in his harem is his giant titty fucking, like, sister who's like, Oh, I want to fuck my brother so bad! I want to fuck him in the video game and in real life! Sword Art Online! Look at my titties! <laughs> that's the whole... That's the whole show. That's the whole second season. And then he just adds more bitches as each season goes on. And then to make it weirder, he becomes a woman in one of them. And they all still want to plow him. Like they all want his weird trap dick. It... I should probably... I don't know. It goes to Incest Harem in two seasons, and it gets really close. Not as close as Elfin Lied, where the guy's, like, making out with his cousin halfway through the thing because he's got PTSD from his fucking girlfriend ripping people's arms and legs off and shit, but... Okay. I'm in first place. I'm E1. Newly inducted into the Raven Order. This pilot's passed as a mystery. Like all recruits, he's proven himself a capable AC operator, but that alone doesn't count for much in the arena. Is he up to the challenge? Only time will tell. I can't... Okay, I can't challenge myself. Can I just challenge Pylon next, or do I have to wait? Oh, it isn't story-gated, is it? This guy's AC looks cool. A rather unusual character. This Raven is afraid of heights idiot and is and it is only when he's piloting an ac that the fear is suppressed once strapped in he takes to the skies and is skilled in, is a skilled aerial combatant piloting technique makes up for his ac shortcomings damn it it is rank locked damn it i have new mail what does the mail say royal mist is that like pink mist are you familiar with the name fixer it if you should get any mail from him, I recommend taking his advice. This is a warning from me to you. There are unwritten rules, even in the arena. Tread carefully. Okay, C, system. Sortie, success, failure. Raven rank E. Oh, so I have to go up in rank in order to challenge the next rank. That's interesting. Good, uh, good, uh, uh, pointer there, Princess Celestia and Luna. Can I just call you, like, Luna? Because that's a fucking mouthful. Yo. <laughs> Alright. So now we have Arby's. And Smug Wendy. <laughs> hey, don't talk shit. I kind of want to fix... Fix Smug Wendy. Do save scum. No point in giving yourself less cash to work with. Oh, so if like I buy some shit, I don't like. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I'm cool with save scumming. 
I, I will save scum the shit out of this stream if I need to. Alright, so let's see. What do I got? Um, I've got that shitty part to sell. Okay, that actually netted me a fair bit of cash. Sell the basic rifle. And let's see. Let's sell them big-ass legs. Rup. Okay, that, uh, that's actually helped there. So now I've got some cash to work with here. Failed missions you cannot recover cash loss from. Interesting, I did not know that. Alright. So let's see, if I was going to buy me some legs, I would probably start with those decent reverse joint ones I was looking at, which was these right here, I think? Moving maximum weight and movement speed both up. You suggest selling that blade right away? I don't know if I want to do that, to be perfectly honest. All right. Um, now let's buy a decent generator here. There's a Rovio! Wasn't that like some weird streaming service back in the day? All right, that is a big, fat fucking generator right there. And that is a slightly less heavy... But I like that energy output on that. Alright, we're gonna buy that. And see if we can't equip it with our new leagues. I've turned Wendy... I've turned Trap Wendy into a chicken. <laughs> Alright. Energy output. Oh yeah, I've got plenty for that. All right, that thing that thing is kind of beast. I could probably buy and equip a better generator at this point. But you know what? If I have money, I want to switch out my FCS. <laughs> You're right, I should replace the booster. You're right. Um, uh, but I'm more interested in getting a, a, a side lock FCS at this point. Uh, the sideway here. Okay, so that's 53. Ooh. So I could sell I could sell the default legs. Shit, I was looking at my way. Lengthway, that's nope, that's lengthway. Lengthway, sideway, got it. Okay, so I want this one. It's fifty-three, I need to make fifty-three. Yeah, no, I agree. I want the widest one possible, because the turn thing fucks with me. Um, so I want to be able to make, you know, small adjustments to my turn without losing my lock. So let's go back over to assembly here. Yeah, I'll sell that. Fuck it. Uh, let's see, what else did I have to sell? I had a generator to sell. Oops. Nope, that's the one I'm equipped. Shit. That's the one I want to sell. Alright, I don't think that gets me to 52 yet. Let's sell that one too. Oh, it did! Oh well. Now I just need to buy that FCS, and then we can go do some actual missions. Where are you at? There you at. What's the range? What's the... the lock speed is 40... Maximum lock. Sight range 481. That's good. That's about the same as the, the, the sideways one I used in... Uh, uh, what is it? Okay, there. It auto-equipped it. All right. Next, next, next will be the booster. And then the radiator, probably. Then I'll worry about weapons and then parts like arms and shit. Because so far, I mean, we're right at the beginning of the game. So I'm not too worried about... Memory card slot one. Okay. I'm not too worried about, like, optimizing my build yet. There we go. Smug Wendy looking more smug and chicken-like by the moment. Who knows? Maybe she'll, re maybe she'll release some salads next. All right. We got a couple missions to do. Let's go here. Escort transport. 15,000. 
All right. Yeah, how is your training going? Your 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 next fights in Vegas, right, dude? All right. Let's see what we got. Advance five thousand upon success ten. Been planted on one of our transport vehicles traveling the A twenty four superhighway. The bomb is designed to explode if the transport decelerates, so we'll have to. Wait, are we in speed? Are we doing speed? Am I Keanu Reevesing it? We're clearing the highway and redirecting. Fuck the yeah! It's area. speed, but bitches. This is cool. This is some cool, fun, dumb, gimmicky shit. Redirecting the transport, but a contingent of enemy units has taken up positions Please along the route. Please that the transport reaches our bomb disposal team, team without, without incident. incident. Okay. They'll take care of matters from there. <laughs> Gotta go fast! <laughs> Keanu Reeves as Sonic. I know fast. <laughs> Be aware that if the Shit. transport comes into contact with anything, the bomb may explode. So don't get run into by the truck and destroy the things that are trying to blow up the thing that has the bomb on it. Why are they sending stuff to shoot the thing that's got the bomb on it? Raven, get Clear a path for the transport. Okay. Oh, I have to destroy... Do I have to destroy shit or just the... Oh, wow. Look at the difference in the... In the... Uh... Oh, wow. Raven, move! What the fuck just happened? What was that? That was stupid. Did it hit me? Did it think it hit me? Oh my god. This is dumb. I just killed C Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock. Time to save scum this shit, motherfuckers. Actually, it's a good thing because I just saved right beforehand. Let's load that. That was bullshit. Like, what? What does it expect me to do? Let's try this again. A bomb is the bomb is. We're clearing the reason should be hitting the buttons. All right, here we go. Kisaragi. Yeah, no, I get it. Alright, I'm hearing shit. Alright, I'm gonna go around to your left side. I swear to God, if you veer into me and, and die because of that, I'm gonna be pissed off. Look okay, at that thing's dead. Can I run this shit over? No. Oh, those those things are tiny and easy to destroy. This is a good machine gun. This is a good get. And it looks like I just have to go ahead of this truck and destroy the stuff in here. This uh, kind of see-through highway thing looks really fucking cool, I think. I like it. I like how it looks. I like how it feels. Hopefully that thing can just go on its own without having to have me like next to it, you know what I mean? That would be kind of annoying. I, I heard it smash into something back there. Alright, so it's not going to go that way. I'm assuming it's going to come up this way. Yeah, these things are going down pretty fast. Yeah, that the, it, the truck had to have run into me the last time, which is stupid and I hate it and it's dumb. Um, I'm actually kind of funny. The difference between the difference between this generator and my movement speed now versus what I had going on before is ridiculous. Transport at fifty percent. Why? What are you hitting? What is hitting you? Does something come up behind you? If something came up behind it, I'm gonna be super pissed. Is it from running over this shit? Not from a, wow, I move so much faster with these legs. Like, the turning speed ain't that much better. I wonder if there's optional parts that I can equip for that. Let's see, can I blow those things up? I can. Okay. 
Because the guy ran into the first one. There we go. This is going much better than the last time. And it looks like it's got a drive over there, and it's good. You know what? Trap Wendy bot looks fucking awesome. Big chest dick. Yeah, okay, I get it. We'll take over from here. Good job, Raven. Your accent is appalling. I'm saved. I'm saved. <laughs> okay, that was a fun gimmick mission. Speed in Armored Core 3 was fun. It's cool. I'm down I'm I'm okay with this. Felt so good around my dick girl. Don't Google Skeet Fighter. Google Skeet. Rank S, wow, hell yeah. That's uh, pretty great, actually, for me. Das ist good for me. All right, let's do another mission. I should probably save and save, or give myself the opportunity to save scum. Probably a smart thing to do. Saving over Smug Wendy again, dee dee dee. It'll be nice when my rank goes up. And I can go burp back to the arena. Burp. Burp. Alright, what do we got here? Defend Nair Bridge. Nair Bridge. Defend Nair Bridge. What do we got? Nair Bridge, a work in progress, has been seized by forces threatening to destroy it unless construction ceases immediately. Fucking terrorists! The project is one of great importance, literally bridging the gap that has impeded trade between the two neighboring districts. Huh. Those holding the bridge are thought to be part of a smuggling ring that has benefited from the situation. The smugglers disguised themselves as bridge workers and commandeered their MTs. More construction the equipment construction to blow up. Must not be delayed. Sure, why not? I'm down for this. You know what? So far, this is a ton of fun. I'm having a ton of fun with this. Hope you guys are too. Squad, I want this AC turned into scrap. <laughs> with our construction equipment, we're gonna fuck up this military weapon. It's got a machine gun, oh no. Alright, what's... What's the deal here? Do I have to use this to get across? Looks like it. Well, that was easy. Oh. Oh man, this generator is so much better. It makes me feel stupid for not immediately switching out the stuff. Oh no, X is going. Bye, friend. You should leave it up. So you can fall asleep. A sweep? You can fall asleep to the dulcet tones of my voice anus. I don't know. Shut up. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, I got an A. That one pretty fast, actually. We're actually blasting through these missions in general really fast. <laughs> You know what, it's kind of annoying that they gate the arena stuff, but I like the idea of it. I, 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 I can see why they would do that, because in the last game, I just, you know, played through the entire arena and then just OP'd my way through the entire story mode. But I'm ranked D already from the looks of it. <laughs> Excuse me. Getting kind of stopped up here. All right, so... Smug Wendy is now rank D and can continue her trip through the arena. All right, we read his thing before. He's afraid of heights until he gets in a robot. Yeah, I'm going to challenge this guy right here in that arena there, don't you know? Man, my nose itches now that I blew it. Bah. Gunfight, go! It's a lot bigger than it looks. Oh my god, that is so fucking loud. Oh. 
And I've overheated myself. You really weren't kidding about that starter generator being a fucking joke. Do it. Yeah! Okay, that went pretty well. Apparently I'm good enough to cut it in rank D. I got the D! Uh, no, I do not want to view the replay. Man, Smug Wendy is the best Armored Core pilot to. 6,000 credits acquired. Acquired, wow. Alright, let's fight this uh, backbreaker fellow here. A prudent pilot, his goal in each battle is to get behind his foe, thereby gaining the upper hand. What does he got? Does he have a rifle? Yeah, he's got a rifle. Uh, unfortunately, this tactic requires mobility and conflicts with his preference for tread-based leg parts. Unwilling to change, he struggles to advance. Look at how shiny that thing is. Look at how, look at how it's like... How it's like... Shimmering from spinning around. I'm gonna fuck this guy up. I'm gonna fuck up all these guys. Let's go to the abandoned fuckery. Come on, Trap Wendy. Let's do it. Where they start you off in this level is fucking weird. Because, like, you have to turn around every time. Oh. Gonna stand there? Alright. That's how you want to take this hit. This machine gun shit is overpowered as hell. This is unbelievable. And with the way I have my hit audio setup. It's all I hear. You know, I don't watch that replay. It's just him stuck in a corner and me just, like, unloading into his ass with Trap Wendy. <laughs> oh no, are you about to tell me something other than the machine gun is the best thing ever? What is this camera angle? It's under half the best possible DPS in Armored Core 3. No kidding. I just like the I just like the consistent stream, um, and the the high ammo. Jesus, that is so fucking loud. How does that sound in relation to my voice? Does that need to be turned down at all? Would y'all recommend I turn it down? Because I can absolutely do that. I got his fucking shit pushed in. Like, real bad. 6,500 credits acquired. All right, here's Fixer. His innate understanding of AC warfare tactics and strategies surpasses that of any other pilot, but his own record is surprisingly inconsistent. Were he to apply himself, most believe he would rank among the arena's best. His AC name is Einhunter. He's got some good, uh, good missile setups there. Really. <sighs> Where's a place we haven't been to in a while? The tropical forest. Fuck it. I am having fun. Stream our fun, fun, fun stream. Fun, fun, fun. E fun, e fun. Oh wow, his missile shit is no joke. There you go, boy. It's so loud. Oh wow. His pistol is causing so much, like, hit stun, it's, it's disrupting my firing pattern. Your missiles are a problem, bro. Oh, 
Oh wow, I'm out of ammo. Oh, this is real bad. And I fucked up. Where are you? What are you doing? I got this. Oh. Okay, there's four missiles launched at his ass. Oh, and he's dead. Perfect. That was a that was a rough fight. That was good. He took a lot of he took a lot of those uh, machine gun rounds. I mean, granted, half of them went into fucking trees. So you know, I had fucked up there. All right, let's see. I have to have mail from these assholes being like, how dare you? All right, I got an advancement reward. Congratulations on your new rank. We hope you will continue to perform as you have been. In recognition of your advancement, we are awarding you with a generator. Okay, cool. I don't know if I'm going to use it because I pretty much bought the best, heaviest generator. Uh, fixer, it looks like we'll be facing each other soon. Don't worry, though. I'll be in top form. Your defeat should be quick and painless. Didn't I just kill you? Oh, I guess I read it. After the fact. <laughs> Let's take a look at that uh, generator they sent us. I'm actually kind of interested. So there's the Ra the Raz Raz that we bought. This is the MGP. 99 and 34 versus 10 and 42. The maximum charge is trash. The red zone's better. Uh, but the energy output of the Raz is still untouched by that thing. So you know what? Let's sell it. It's worth almost 50k. It'll actually push me over 100 and I'll be able to buy and upgrade something here. Let's look at the arms. What do we have for arms? Let's see. Well, control and reaction speed, 279, 600. 279 and 600. This is already better. I like the high reaction speed ones. Like that thing, the reaction speed of 1400 on that. The recoil control is comparable. You know what? I really like that, actually. The weight's really low, though. Hmm. Is there anything even close to that anywhere else? No. So we've got this super low weight, low armor arm part. Fuck core. So we've got these low weight cores, and then we've got these heavy weight cores. There's no other middle weight core besides what I have equipped right now. That's um, that's kind of interesting, actually. Do I have enough for a decent booster here? I do. High, highly stable Mirage Masterpiece. Five, fourteen and three, seventeen and four. I like this. This is a decent upgrade for now. That one might have been a little better, but all right. So let's take a look at the difference in these arms. There isn't much of a drop in the armor points, honestly. And the the reaction speed will be a lot better for this machine gun build I have going. That's cool. All right, there's more of a charge drain there. It obviously weighs more. I lost like 400 weight units with the uh, the arm switch there. All right, so let's sell those. And you know what? I have a feeling I'm not going to be wanting to switch back to these arms here, so let's sell those. 
Perhaps I have enough uh, cash on me to buy like an uh, extension or something. That might be nice. Yeah, I think I think a missile interception extension would probably be a good next bet for me. Quick retreats, quick turns. This is a uh, this is a cool fucking thing right here. Interlocks with back mounted missiles, interlocking support missiles. All the support missiles are so low. Automatic missile intercept system. Has 40 ammo. Enhanced missile intercept system. So that's your basic. That's a better version of that. And I'm like... Oh, and here's one with more ammo. And it's just better overall. Definitely worth the price. Energy-based one, which I might be interested in, except it's got low ammo. Added shielding increases defense, better defense. Radiator for emergency use. Oh, so it's like a super uh, forced cooling system. That's kind of totally badass. Provides emergency energy recovery. Oh, that's cool. So you click it and it just shoots a bunch of energy into your AC. All right. So, come on, come on, come on. We want that. We can't afford it right now, but that's okay. Um, because we've got plenty more rank D arena fights to deal with here. Like this guy with his, are those machine gun arms? I think they are. They're either machine guns or grenade arms. A stickler in his ways, he equips only high speed solid shell weapons. There is nothing fancy with regard to his, oh, so he has, is that two? He's just covered in machine guns. There's nothing fancy with regard to his combat style, but if he is able to draw and hold a bead on an opponent, they're in trouble. Which, I mean, that's pretty much what we're doing. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll fight this. I'll fight this kind of mirror match here. I will do this. Oh, wow. The difference in boost is crazy, actually. The arm response is so crazy compared to compared to the previous stuff. Like, look at that. I'm barely missing any shots with these arms. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you go. That was really fast. This is the way. We are do the job. Job are happen. Job are happen. I know. I'm fucking weird. I apologize to all of you for my weirdness. Oh, what's this? Oh, my fucking mail client died again. Okay. Like I said, I keep it up to keep track of if I get any new follows or anything so I can thank y'all. All right, we've got Aster. Excels at both close. Oh, that's a cool looking. That thing looks like one of the Ares uh, um, mobile suits from Gundam Wing. That's actually a really badass looking AC. I, I like the look of that. Excels at close and mid-range battles, taking advantage of his AC's mobility to keep his opponents off balance. The sniper rifle he equipped was chosen for its speed, not range. He uses it only when a target is locked and the hit assured. That's a cool, that's a cool looking AC for damn sure. Like once I'm like <laughs> drowning in money, that might actually be like a cool like alternate build I want to put together. That lo that looked really cool to me. I liked it. I liked how it felt. I liked how it tastes. All right, where you at, buddy? What are you doing? You stuck? Come on. Do I need to like He's breaking out? He's attempting to break out. Jesus! I'm not kidding about speed. The guy uh, could be a problem. Nothing, nothing this machine gun can't handle. Where'd you go? Are you gonna speed at me? And you died. Not bad. 
This is going swimmingly. I didn't expect it to go this well. I expected to have problems. Do you replay? Nah. The way that thing moved was awesome and kind of intimidating. That thing was fast. All right, I should have more than enough to buy that extension, and I know I have enough weight for it. Like, what's my leg weight? I've got over a thousand weight I can equip at this point. I'm running a very light build at this at this point here, which is pretty cool. All right, so this is what we want. Weight of 315. All right, back units. Those two just look like their counterparts in Armored Core 2. A lot of the stuff in here does. Mid-missile, max lock 2. Mid-size missile, max lock 4. I like that there's these good like middle missiles that you have that you can equip. 36 and it just basically fires a much bigger regular missile. It says vertical missile launcher, launches two missiles per lock on, that's probably going to be worth it later on. Multi warhead missile launcher. That's the uh, that's the one I used all in Armored Core 2 basically. Launches low trajectory missiles, four high explosive missiles. Oh, that's the big missile thing. Small rockets, mid-size rockets, large rockets, rapid fire machine gun. Okay, that thing looks pretty badass. Shoulder mounted grenade launcher, devastating grenade rounds, plasma cannon, shoulder mounted laser cannon. Look at that thing. That looks exactly like its counterpart in the other one. And this one's exactly like its counterpart in Armored Core 2 as well, but it's got twice the ammo. Look at that ammo. I have 243 credits. I can't afford it. <laughs> All right, so what the fuck did I buy? I think next will be a changing out the head for something with a good radar so I can get that radar off, off my back. Bought the extension, I believe. Yep, there we go. That was it, I think. That and that, okay. Slowly but surely becoming a serious threat. Let's do another arena mission here. Yellow Boat, an optimist. Her combat strategy incorporates very little in the way of proven tactics and she relies almost solely on luck to best their competition. Her AC is designed for looks, and the random part layout makes it hard to anticipate her moves. So she's got... <clears throat> it looks like two very heavy-hitting weapons. So basically getting hit by her is an issue. So I wonder if we can weave in and out of the ruins here to deal with that. All right. Come on. I see you making your way over here. Doesn't this thing break? Come on. Okay, good hit. Oh wow, that's uh, that caused me heavy damage instantly. Good lord. Good lord. This one might be a problem. This one is proving to be a problem. And she has the fucking ammo to do that for days. Oh, oh I think I caught a lucky break. She got caught up on the geometry there. That would have been bad. If she'd shot me like two or three more times, done. That would have been rough. I felt something from that fight. Something moved deep in my pants. I don't know. <laughs> Suburban King. Interesting. I have new mail. Who's the mail from? Crest. Crest product sponsor. Your arena performances indicate a high level of piloting skill. This is exactly what we look for when considering new prospects. Please accept our newest FCS part, the V-Rex WS1. I'm interested. Our products are of the highest quality. We're sure you will benefit from its use. Okay. 
Good luck. Let's take a look. If it's a better sideways one, I'm comfortable with switching that out. Burp, burp, burp. All right. What do we got? Single lock, wide and shallow. Nope, no thank you. I like having range on my locks. Save and do a mission. Let's save and do a mission and close out this stream with a mission. That's what I, I think that's what we're gonna do here. Smug Wendy for the win. This has been a fun stream. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I really do. All right, arena mail. I said I was gonna do mission, okay. Third layer, District 1. First layer, District 2. Let's go here. Defend the monorail. Unknown number of MTs. An what do we got? Has been launched on our research lab. Thankfully, security forces detected the breach early and were able to get all key employees aboard the monorail and out of harm's way. But for some reason, power to the monorail has been cut and is just sitting on the tracks. The employees on board are integral to our research efforts and must be protected. The security We're not protecting because they're people, it's because they're helping with the research. Protect the monorail until the power is... All right, we gotta protect these people. And I can bring somebody with. You know what? They're giving us more funds here. So why don't we see how this goes? Why don't we bring some... Oh, shit, ACs. Apple Boy, that's the guy I did the, the beginning mission with. That's cool. Look at that. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, look, we can bring in the dudes and stuff. That's fucking cool. Uh, I don't want to spend the money on those motherfuckers, so we're going to bring this badass looking dude. Take a five. Th look at that. He's just got a big ass bazooka. We're bringing him, right? Yeah, we are. Okay. You can bring up to two people. That's cool. We might do some of that in later missions just, just for the funsies. It's nice to have allies. They think they're people. Raven. Security says there are MTs heading this way. All right. Where do I... I'm assuming. Radar active. Target's closing. Okay, they are coming from one side of the level. Jesus Christ! They're touching my goodies! Actually, that was kind of shitty. Other side. What do we got? You know what? I don't think I have the setup for a mission like this. I've got a lot of ammo, but these guys are... These guys are really going through it, honestly. Alright, I'm gonna take out the guys on this side. I kind of really wish I had a uh, uh, energy blade on me because uh, these guys are slow and they would probably be very susceptible to that. That guy. Oh man, this is uh, starting to get intense. Although that guy with his bazooka is uh, actually super cool. You know, they don't charge you as much for uh, ammunition in this one. It's kind of nice, to be perfectly honest. Is that it? Area we did it! Good work. Hashtag Brick Squad. Yeah, I need to switch out that shoulder piece for like an energy cannon, and, and I need to get a, a energy blade. Isn't that guy 
stepping around back there. And I spent money on you. I hey, I got a B. That's not too bad. Ammunition. None of the train parts got destroyed. That's cool. So I I lost three hundred and sixty six dollars on that. Shit. <laughs> oh well. Could be worse. All right, let's read this mail and that'll be the end of the thingy. All right, Mirage announcement. Raven, let me start by thanking you. Power interruptions resulting from rerouting adjustments are not uncommon, but the timing of this most recent one is highly suspicious. We have little choice if it was the work of the controller, but this doesn't change the fact that we suffered tangible losses due to the incident. Under the current system, with the controller having so much influence, keeping layered running smoothly is becoming more and more difficult. That the controller plays a vital role in our existence is not in question, but we must start making use of its presence to bring about more reliable order. Oh, man. So people want to control the big AI. I feel like that's a cool to be continued for the next stream. So on that note, I want to thank everybody who came out to the stream. I thought that said garbage. I want to thank everybody who came out to the stream. I am Jeff, and um, I really enjoyed streaming this. Uh, I will be streaming more of it probably in the very near future. Um, if you enjoyed it, you should definitely follow the channel. Um, and if you liked it, you should click the link below the video that goes over to our YouTube channel. There you can find archives of um, our streams as well as full Let's Plays and funny like one-off videos and stuff that we do. Um, you should subscribe there as well uh, to be kept up to date on new releases there. Uh, once again, I'm Wu-Tang, or Jeff, whichever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter! Uh, thanks a lot for coming out to the stream, and I'll see you guys next time.